Hey, this is Evan Handler. I play Harold Prince in the upcoming Fosse Verdon for FX Networks. And we're here talking to Playbill.com about uh, that and so many other things. Very familiar with Gwen Verdon's reputation, not as familiar with her work, you know, because uh, 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 her, her, her greatest work was on stage, uh, earlier than I was a theater goer. Um, Bob Fosse was, for me, like many people, extremely influential, even not necessarily his theater work, although I went and saw Pippin as a kid and was familiar with some of with his dance work. I mean, I watched Liza with a Z with my family or on the television set, but his film All That Jazz was something that I, as a 17-year-old, latched on to. I think uh, there were a lot of uh, people of my stripe that aspired to make films uh, who, who were seduced by that kind of self-reverential, self-indicting, uh, uh, caustic, Tones. I was not as familiar with him as a, as a song and dance man. I knew I knew that those were his origins, but I wasn't really as familiar with that. And watching old tapes and you know what's available anyway, and and seeing him and, and Gwen Verdon dance together, um, there's some pretty iconic stuff there. You know, trying to trying to see in his early dance work what he would later become. Um, it, it's actually hard for me anyway to, to, to see when you see the, the smiling song and dance guy to then see the 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 the, the depth and cutting uh, eye of, of cabaret and, and and all that jazz there were surprises there in that sense and and also uh, the the story of of how influential she was on his work and, and how much he relied on her continually there's a whole world of people that I hope this reaches it's got some of the energy of, of the dance numbers in, in all that jazz. And hopefully it's going to uh, open some eyes in, in, in some younger people to what a dynamic force he was and how much what they watch is influenced by stuff that he, he and she did. I think it wants to be a high voltage, uh, high energy look at the creative process at the kind of personalities that feel determined to, to, to show movement and sexuality and emotion in a new way. I'd encourage anyone, if they want to get a taste of, of what's in store, to, there's a lot of YouTube of uh, just the opening sequence of all that jazz. And I think would probably give a good taste of, of, of the energy and vivaciousness and sexuality and, and um, uh, determination and ambition that this series is going to hold as well.